All right, who wants to see me try on some denim shorts? I have seven really amazing pairs here. Oh wait, first of all, hi. I'm Amy, I'm here with the mom at it. And I'm on the hunt for denim shorts for spring and summer because I promise warm weather is coming. I have some really amazing shorts to try on, so I thought, why not bring you, my bestie, with me and we can try them on together. I am taller, so I do like a little bit longer of an inseam. I also prefer the least amount of distressing. Yes, there is some distressing in here, though. We have everything from A Goldie. Of course, that's a team favorite, and they did release a bunch of amazing non-distressed versions for summer. I have some H&M, some Free People, some... Um, Farm Rio. Didn't even realize they made shorts. So let's get to it. Let's try these out. All right, short number one. We're starting off strong with one of my favorite pairs, the A Goldie Parker Long. This is organic denim. We love that. They have really good cotton denim practices over at A Goldie. I am obsessed that it is completely non-distressed. So we have a clean hem. We don't have any holes. Clean back pockets. These fit really well. I will say that I do have other A Goldie Parker Longs in different washes from past years and this one fit a little bit more rigid a little bit tighter smaller than my other pairs so an a goldie i usually like to size down to a 27 and while they do fit i think i would prefer to stick with my true size that is i think a good thing about a goldie you can go either way on sizing they're a little bit versatile you can kind of play around with the look you want size down keep your true size you do you boo they're considered a loose fit vintage short they are an investment but you can watch for sales overall though the a goldie parker long short the new washes 10 out of 10 for me the second short i'm trying on is one that goes against my distressed element because yes there's some distressing in here and it's the only black denim that I have in this try on. This is from H&M and it's their mom short. And when I tell you I saw these on the model and I just threw them in my cart immediately because the fit is so cool and vintage. It has a very super high waist. It has a loose leg. Dare I say, these are the ones I've been like dreaming about the most when the weather does get warm. I am so excited to style these up. I have noticed that the 80s style short is huge this summer. Madewell's doing the 80s look. Everlane has their 80s shorts. H&M is throwing out the 80s shorts look. Like a lot of people are going back to the very high waist very 80s short style which i do find interesting considering our denim jeans are getting lower 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 to that y2k fashion but shorts that is just a trend i've noticed is they're looking very 60s 70s 80s and of course h&m is great if you want a very inexpensive pair if you don't want to invest a lot of money into denim shorts they have some really good affordable options third pair in the try on is this really funky fun slouchy almost boyfriend style short from Free People. The brand is We The Free, so it's their in-house brand. The second chance is low slung pull-on short. You don't actually have to utilize the buttons down the front. It has a great elastic back waistband that you can just pull them up, pull them down, so it's very easy for running to the beach. Practical and easy, a good throw on short for hot summer days if you need to run out of the house in the evening to go to get an ice cream cone. You and your family are melting inside and you need a sweet dessert. Oh, how much do we want summer? I could like go on and on with that scene. Anyway, so these are just easy. They're very easy, they're very fun. I will say these run wildly oversized. But as someone who's very straight framed, these are huge. I size down to a small and they're still loose. Either way, these are really fun and I do love how unique they are. So far we're in trouble because I am loving all of these shorts, guys. Okay, next up we have a good old fashioned pair of denim underwear. Normally I stay away from these just because I am a taller person, so regular shorts already kind of look shorter on me. But I don't know, something came over me and I was like, I really want to try these. I think it was this little rolled hem. I do live in a beach town now. I recently moved from Michigan to San Diego, so I thought, you know, I'm probably gonna be living in the shorts a lot more than I used to. I also think these are really cute when you pull them up over your swimsuit for the beach. So this is called the Beginner's Luck Low Rise Slouch Shorts. So this right here follows your Y2K trends. It's low rise, it's slouchy, it's shorty short, might show the booty cheeks. It's everything we loved in Y2K. Coming back at ya. They're very soft. Both free people shorts that I've talked about so far, the one prior and this one, are 100% cotton. Got my true size in these and they were exactly how I want them to fit. This is the Levi's 80s mom shorts. Again, with the 80s vibes, they're big this year. I've seen a lot of Levi's shorts that I've been very curious about this summer, but I haven't pulled the plug on any of them. I think mostly because they sell out really fast, so my size like disappears. This, I was able to find my size in. The 80s mom short is described as a high rise that's relaxed through 
through the hip. So I love that. I love a good high rise. That is still very much my favorite and preference these days. And then it has a relaxed hip thigh area. So it's not super tight, which I do really love. That extra little bit of room in the thigh and leg is my favorite. And when you wear them, it almost has like a little bit of a kick out. I got my true size 28 and they fit like a freaking glove. 100% cotton, which we love. I am very much obsessed with these. I love them more than I thought I was going to. I think that whole 80s vibe short is really my jam is what I'm coming to find. These are a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10. I love them. All right, this next pair of shorts are stunning. Look at these. I couldn't resist. I loved how unique they are. I love any time I can find a bottom that has detailing in this that is unlike anything else. These are Farm Rio for Anthropology. These are actually surprisingly very similar to the Levi's 80s Mom short when it comes to the fit and how it sits on my body. They don't do a number sizing system like 27 28 they just do small medium large that was a little bit confusing they did provide a size guide and i went off the size guide and grabbed a medium and i am swimming in these i do think they run big at least for someone with my body shape again very straight no curves these are just beautiful on it could be that they're too big but the back of them i've noticed don't like hug my booty at all the little bit of booty that i have it's very like straight down which i thought was very fun and retro looking can't get enough of this detailing look at it up close it has just really good classic pockets no distressing which you know your girl loves i love i also am very curious to see if there's more in this line because i kind of just found these as a one-off and ordered them but now that i know that it's a farm rio anthro collab based on the tag i'm gonna kind of see what else is in that collab because these are amazing and I will be exchanging to try a size down. I'm gonna try a small. All right, last but not least in my denim short try on are the A Goldie Stella shorts. Now I have tried A Goldie's Parker, Parker Long, and the D short in the past, but I've never tried the Stella short. It's just popping up on a lot of my social feeds. Influencers are wearing it. This one just seems to be getting kind of a moment this year. I am in love. The last few years, I have been trying to find a Bermuda short that I love and I order all different styles and I never end up wearing them. I don't reach them. And I think it's because they're a little bit too long and a little bit too loose. But in my mind, I was like, I still want a Bermuda short for outfits. I don't know why I couldn't let it go. And I just realized this, this is the short that I wanted for those outfits because it has a longer leg, but it's not too long to be a Bermuda short. But unlike Bermuda shorts that are kind of just like loose all over, at least in my experience, these have an extremely snatched waist. They're very vintage in that way. So they're tight in the waist and then they get very loose over the leg. And then they come down longer than the Parker longs or longer inseams in other shorts. And I'm making an exception here because as you can see, lots of distressing, but I don't even care. I love them so much. And I think because it's a style unlike any other, I don't feel childish or youthful with the distressing. I love this brand so much and I love these shorts so much. So in summary, I am in trouble. I am obsessed with all these shorts. They're all so different and so unique, which if you know me, that's like my bread and butter. So you know what? I need your help. I desperately need your help. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think was the best and why. Don't tell me what you didn't like. I don't want negativity here. What would you buy? I definitely don't need seven new pairs of shorts this summer, right? Right? I don't, I don't need seven pairs of shorts. Okay. Yeah. So if you love these videos, guys, if you love following along, please like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know what else you might want to see from us. We love you. Thank you for being here. Please help me decide which short to keep. Mm, thanks. Bye.